So, uh, in the last uh, class, uh, we saw uh, how to uh, design a uh, simple sequential uh, circuits. Uh, we will just extend that uh, concept to something uh, slightly uh, uh, more uh, tricky, which is known as uh, sequence detector. Okay. So, uh, in case uh, you are not uh, uh, understanding uh, things clearly, uh, please feel free uh, to uh, stop me then and there. Uh, I think I have uh, unmuted uh, all of you, so you can uh, pick up your mic and uh, ask me doubts also. Okay. Uh, so, uh, here uh, now we are going to learn uh, how to uh, design a uh, sequence detector. Okay. Uh, so what is a sequence detector is, uh, suppose there is an uh, input and uh, bit stream coming 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 and, and we are trying to detect if, if the sequence, whenever the sequence is 1, 0, 0, 1, I give the output to be 1. Okay. So, these kind of things are uh, practically used in a many, like uh, for example, uh, you have an, a pin for a digital uh, an, a lock of locker, right. So, if you uh, press the correct uh, uh, sequence of the pin, the lock has to uh, release. So, these kind of uh, uh, six, uh, circuits are used in many uh, applications. Now, if you see here, uh, input is 1, 0, 0, 1 here. So, this is the continuously some sequence is coming. Whenever uh, I have uh, this, uh, so the output here is uh, 0 initially because just 1 is, is being received. Now, when I receive 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, the output will go to 1. That means, now this uh, sequence is complete. So, whenever I detect this complete sequence, the output will go to 1. So, this is known as a sequence detector. Now, again, it is 0 here, a dozen, 0 here, uh, 0 here, and, uh, 0 here. Uh, and then again, I will find 1, 0, 0, 1 has been detected. So, when I receive this one, again it has to go to uh, 1 here. So, it, it, it is continuously, it is monitoring the inputs and whenever uh, this particular sequence, uh, desired sequence. So, uh, we have taken a specific example of 1, 0, 0, 1. It can be any sequence. Okay, You can set any pin. Okay, Now, we are just taking one particular example and trying to uh, design that. So, you, you should be able to uh, take any other uh, sequence. Okay, Now, uh, also uh, uh, we are taking uh, uh, one uh, 4 uh, uh, bit sequence. It could be more than 4 bit uh, sequence also. So, uh, we are just taking one example and trying to understand the concept and uh, subsequently you can uh, have a longer sequence with any uh, random sequence. Okay. Uh, so, now let us see. So, design uh, there are uh, two kinds of sequence detector. Uh, one is known as uh, overlapping. Now, suppose this is the uh, sequence uh, which is uh, coming here. So, if you see here 1, 0, 0, 1. Uh, I will get an output 1, Okay, the lock uh, gets opened or I give a high signal here. Uh, again, I have a uh, 0, 0, 1 coming here. Uh, here also, this 1 is also will be uh, taken uh, as an uh, input. Okay, That means, 1, 0, 0, 1 is here also 1, 0, 0, 1 is there. So, that is means it, it is overlapping. This 1 is uh, from, from the previous state as well as the uh, next state. So, that is known as overlapping. So, when I receive 1 here, uh, I will get an output 1. So, this is known as an overlapping uh, sequence. So, uh, I can also design a circuit that depends on the user requirement. Well, you know, what is the requirement as per that? So, in a uh, non-overlapping one, I get a 0, 0, 0, 1, I get an output here. Then the system gets a reset. Now, again it will start from here. Okay, uh, This is gone. This is the previous story. Now, it will start 0, 0, 0, 1. So, it will not give me a 1 because this 1 will not be considered. Hence, it is known as non-overlapping. So, uh, depending on the requirement, you can make an overlapping one or uh, and a uh, non-overlapping one. Okay, This is the particular uh, circuit uh, which uh, no, you should understand uh, no, very carefully. In case there is uh, any doubts, uh, please uh, feel free to ask me. I will explain it uh, no, twice, thrice, no problem. Because if you uh, understand uh, this particular diagram, then the design of uh, any sequence detector will become uh, pretty easy. Okay. Uh, so, now I have a sequence 1001. Uh, that means, I have to store uh, on a four different data. So, the total number of flip-flops which I will require will be uh, four, right? So, uh, no, uh, two. With two flip-flops, I can make an, uh, four different states, right? Uh, so, the, here you see the, the total number of uh, bits here 1001. So, I require four different uh, states, okay? So, that so S0, S1, S2, S3. So, first I make uh, four different uh, states out here. 
Now, uh, initially if I am get, so I start from here, uh, initially if I am getting 0 here, I will continue to remain here. If I am getting 1 here, I will go to the uh, next state. Okay. Uh, so, if you see here, uh, it is, uh, initial, this is 0, right, this is a 0. If I get an uh, 0, I will uh, uh, continue to remain here. So, that, that means S0, the input is 0. So, I will remain at S0. So, this 0 before the stroke, uh, it uh, uh, indicates that it is uh, the input is uh, 0, okay, in input street. Uh, this is the output, okay. Uh, output will go to 1 whenever uh, I receive 1001. So, initially I have just received 0. So, that is why this is 0. Now, suppose I am uh, receiving an input 1, then the my sequence has started. So, I will go to the uh, next state. So, that means if I get 1 here, I am going to the next state, but the entire sequence is not complete. So, this remains 0. So, it is 1 0 I am coming here. Now, if I am uh, uh, having uh, another 0, okay, if I having uh, another 0, that means 1, 0 and then uh, uh, from 1 to 0. So, I will move to the next state. So, if I have a 0 here, I am moving to the uh, next state here. But if I am receiving a 1 uh, again, okay, uh, at this state, now then, then I am continuing to uh, stay back uh, here only because I am not moving uh, forward. Because if you see here, no, uh, uh, now it is a 0, uh, one, single 1 means I, I have reached here. So, I am reaching one more 1. That means the previous one I am discarding, I am taking the latest 1 and I, I am standing here itself. Right? If I get one more 0 only, then I will move forward. So, if I get one more 0, I am uh, moving forward here. Right? and I reach uh, S2 here. Uh, from S2, uh, if, I re, uh, if I reach an, uh, uh, one more 1 out here, uh, right, no, uh, uh, right uh, 0 it is coming here. If I reach, uh, if I get one more 0, I will move through, uh, move to uh, S3 and at S3, if I get one more 1, right, if I get one more 1, then the output will go to uh, 1 here, right. So, this is 1. And, and that last one, I will uh, take it as the again, uh, it, since it is overlapping, I come back to S1. So, uh, uh, let me uh, explain you once again. Initially, I am at 0, 0, right. Initially, I am at 0, 0. So, if the input is 0, then I remain there. If I receive an input 1, so I will move to S1. So, if I receive an input 1, this is the one which is shown here, I move to the uh, next state, okay. Whereas, the output remains 0. And uh, from here, if I receive one more 0, uh, I will go to the next state. If I receive one more 0, I will go to the next state. And if I receive one more 1, then the output will become a 1 out here. That means, the sequence has been uh, detected here. Uh, but and also, I do not go back to the initial uh, position here, from here to 0. Because if I receive 1 here, that I can take it, th this last one I can take it as a 1 because it is overlapping. If it is non-overlapping, it will go here. Since it is overlapping, this one I can use it in the uh, next sequence. So, that is why I am coming here. Now, uh, here, if, uh, now, uh, so this particular uh, chain, uh, I guess it is understood. Let us see about the uh, uh, other loops. If it is 0, I am continuing to remain here. I have received 1 here and then I am going to uh, uh, receive one more 1 here, right. That means, if I have received two ones, uh, two ones means no, I will not move forward because there is no two ones here. So, the first one will be discarded, the second one I will take into consideration. So, I am continuing to remain here. I have received already one here, I am going to receive one more one here. So, I am going to continue to remain at this stage, at, at one here, right. So, th uh, th this means, S1 means I have received one one. So, S2, what does S2 means? Uh, from here, I have received a zero. Uh, S2 indicates I have already received 1 and then a 0. So, 1, 0. 1, 0 I have received. So, I am received here. Now, if I received one more 0, I will move forward. If I receive one more 1, okay, that means it is 1, 0, 1. So, that does not fit anywhere here, right. So, if I have received 1, 0, 1, I can only take the last one which is useful to me. So, I am going back here. So, 1, I am going back here. Uh, similarly, I coming to S3. Uh, if I have S3 here, now I have received 1, 0, 0 and one more 1, the sequence is complete and, and I am going here. Why I am going here? Because I am going to use this one in the next cycle. But if I receive 1, 0, 0 and another 0, 
So, 1 and 3 zeros, it is not making uh, any sense here, right? So, it is going to the starting place. So, it is 0, 0 here. 0 means I have received one more 0. This uh, 0 indicates uh, output. So, th after the stroke, it is the output. Uh, that is only <coughs> once in this particular circuit when, when the sequence is uh, complete. Is this uh, state table uh, clear to all of you? Uh, state chart. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so now I have now I have four states. If I have these four states, so uh, I can uh, give it as 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0. I can assign uh, two flip flops, and for each of these uh, 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 four states, uh, I can have 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 4 uh, these states, right? So, uh, I can make this now uh, as 0, 0, 0, and if the input is 0, if the input is 0, then it, it it remains here so our s0 s0 right and then output is 0 if it is 0 0 s0 right and if the input is 1 then it moves to the next state s1 and s1 is 0 1 so i am giving a uh, 0 uh, 1 here right so q a q b uh, and similarly uh, s1 if it is a 0 it is moving towards s2 so, uh, if it is S1, 0, uh, if it is 0, it is moving to S2. So, this becomes an uh, S2 is 1, 0. So, I put a, a 1, 0 here. Uh, output is all uh, 0 here, right, if you see. Uh, then, similarly, in, if it is S1 and uh, if I am uh, receiving another 1, it is continuing to remain here. So, 0, 1, if I uh, receive an 1 here, I am continuing to remain in S1. So, this becomes an, uh, 0, 1. It, it, so, output is 0. Then, I take the next state S2. Right, uh, S2 is an, uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, right, 1, 0, and this is an, if it is 0 here, then I am moving forward to S3, moving forward to S3. So, uh, 1, 1, so 0 here, right, and, and similarly, uh, S2, uh, if it is an, uh, uh, 1, then I am going back to S1. So, S2, it is uh, 1, 0. If it is 1, I am going back to S1, and S1 is 0, 1. So, I put 0, 1 here. So, the output is 0. Uh, then I come to S3 out here. Uh, S3 is an, a 1, 1. And then uh, if it is a 0, then I am going to uh, S0. So, if it is a 0, I am going to S0 here. And if it is an, a 1, then the output is going 1 here. If you see here, the output is going uh, 1 here in this particular case. Uh, and it is coming to S1 state, so 0, 1. So, uh, from this uh, no, state chart, I am making the uh, state uh, table. right? So, now if you see here Q A, Q B, uh, X, these are two flip flops and these are the uh, next state. Okay. So, from this state table, uh, I can, if I have to use a D flip flop, then I uh, will make an, a D flip flop. D flip flop will be just Q A, Q B er, er, because you know, D, whatever is the D, that will become the next state. So, I make an, a D here. So, now I have uh, two flip flops. I have D A and D B. So, uh, from these uh, I can uh, write an uh, expression. So, uh, how do I get these expressions? By making an K map, right? So, Q A, Q B, X, these are the three variables. This is the uh, output. So, uh, with these three variables, this is the function. Output, it is uh, two ones are there and, and three zeros are there. So, it is possible that uh, 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 there could be some uh, uh, don't care conditions also. So, in this case, uh, there is no uh, don't care conditions here. So, you have uh, uh, three inputs. So, all the possible uh, eight combinations are available uh, out here. Right, in all the uh, four possible uh, combinations here. Right, uh, why? Uh, how can there be a uh, don't care condition? Is uh, now uh, there are in this particular example there are uh, uh, four different states. There could be an uh, 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 case where I am detecting only uh, uh, three sequence. For instead of four, uh, there is only uh, three. One zero zero. I have to detect just one zero zero. So there will be only uh, three of them available, right? So the fourth will not be there. So there will be some uh, don't care conditions also in that case. Uh, here, uh, no, no, all the four are there. So you make an, uh, the uh, no, D A and and D B, uh, and then accordingly D A D B, uh, you have the outputs Q A and Q B. Uh, and and then uh, you have to also generate uh, y also y is what this uh, uh, here y right so so y is q a q b x so you have to uh, make an a q a q b and x so that will become y the x is the input uh, stream which is coming and there are uh, two flip flops so you will find the output y 
uh, will go high whenever this particular sequence x is the sequence. So, if you see in this particular block, there is one input and one output x is the input. So, whenever that particular uh, stream sequence is detected, output high will go uh, high uh, and that is uh, realized through these. Uh, uh, these flip flops. Okay. Now, uh, like we said, flip flops will store the previous data also. So, that is the reason we are able to uh, uh, detect a uh, sequence which is coming uh, serially in. Uh, is this uh, thing understood by all of you? Yeah, uh, Aishwi, is it okay? Sachin? Okay. Yes, sir. Understood. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so, now, uh, uh, so uh, uh, this is the uh, present state. You can implement the same thing using uh, JK flip flop also, right? Uh, from uh, from this, you make the state table, and initially we took J A, uh, D A, and uh, D B. Uh, we can make it uh, using J uh, flip flop, J K flip flops also. So accordingly, like if you say uh, Q A is changing from zero to zero, so this will become zero x. Okay. Similarly, you make this table here, so you get an expression for uh, J A, J B, and Y. Okay. So you need to make an uh, K map out here, right? So that is not shown here. So uh, to get these expressions uh, for J A K, you have to make four different K maps with uh, inputs as QA, QB and X. Okay, So, you make a uh, K map and accordingly, uh, so this becomes the uh, circuit if you are implementing it with uh, JK flip-flop. Okay? Uh, so, uh, if you can uh, go to my uh, web page, uh, so uh, I have shown you the uh, link of the tutorial. right? So, you can uh, refer to that tutorial. Uh, there is an one tutorial on uh, clogged uh, on uh, sequence detector. So, you will find an, uh, one or more problems uh, about design of sequence detectors and counters uh, are there. So, you will uh, no, you can uh, practice those problems also. Okay? So, uh, thanks a lot for now. I will stop it here.